This 27-hectare plot was teeming with nearly 6,000 cacao trees just last year. Today, less than a dozen remain. The stripped landscape, dotted with pools of cyanide-tainted wastewater, is a victim of illegal gold miners, also known as Galamse. For Janet Guillemfi, the destruction of her land is a devastating blow. My toil, my livelihood, all was destroyed and it's not easy. It hurts. It's not as if there's another job anywhere that I can rely on. I've no source of income anywhere. Guillemfi had been resisting the Galamseyers' threatening demands to sell them her plantation when one day last June, armed guards blocked her entry and bulldozers ripped out her trees. And she is not alone in this case. Across the country, cacao plantations are ceding ground to gold miners. According to a study conducted four years ago by Ghana's cacao marketing board, Cocobod, around 20,000 hectares of land had been lost to Galamse. If you have all these farms being lost, productivity affected as a result of uh, illegal mining, then its impact on the industry is one we are really struggling to deal with. Another problem also looms, climate change. Long the world's undisputed cacao powerhouses, accounting for over 60% of global supply, Ghana and neighboring Ivory Coast are both facing catastrophic harvests this season. Furthermore, Ghanaian plantations are also battling a deadly virus which is killing the trees. Cocobot estimates that 590,000 hectares of land have now been infected with the swollen shoot virus. The situation may spell the beginning of the end of West Africa's cacao supremacy, opening the door for new producers, particularly in Latin America.